Hey guys, it's Timmy here with Clanktronics. I've got the Dirt Devil. This one is the Power Express Compact Upright. Whatever, it was cheap. Walmart had it for 25 bucks. It's normally about 50. And uh, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing, show you guys what it comes with, and my first impressions of uh, just what I think, the packaging, all that. And be sure to subscribe, guys. It really helps me out. Gets my name out there more. So, first off, we got the Dirt Devils instruction manual. And then this nice little styrofoam on the inside here. Brush is in there really good. All right. Let's lift this out. Handles all separate there. Pretty sure that handle was held in really nicely with the styrofoam. Yeah, that's where the top of the handle went. And let's see here. Really well packaged. I like the styrofoam. It's cool, it's really clear. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but let's go ahead and put the handle on this thing. Try not to get styrofoam bits inside there. Just a simple handle on this. Should be able to figure it out. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. I feel like I'm already putting this thing together wrong. Gotta get that clicked in right. So first off, uh, I just gotta figure out, oh, I got one screw that comes with it. That's the trick. So, maybe some tools required. Just a Phillips head. I'm not too worried about that. It'll just be an easy thing to tighten up later, but not quite sure if I needed any other adapter. sure I'm doing this right. I don't want to put the handle on wrong. <laughs> so the screw is going to go in through the back here, but um, it looks like the front has the tools holding on it. So it goes on like this somehow. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right though. Something you would think would be so simple. <laughs> I feel like I gotta put some like real force down on this thing to what makes me think I'm putting it on here wrong. Oh. Well, there's a chance I am. <laughs> Just slide the handle into the hole on the top of the cleaner. They're making this sound so easy. I'm putting it on backwards. That's why. It's I feel like I'm gonna break something. That's how it goes sometimes. All right, so don't put it on that way. It just seems like there should be more holding that on there. Huh. So this whole piece just needs to twist around. And the screw goes in here somehow, but... I had it right the first time. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with the handle on this stupid thing, but... I'm just having issues that's all that's how it goes sometimes it has a notch inside there but this piece is like I don't know I don't even want that on there right now <laughs> I 
can't even get it down to the point where the screw would even go in. Like, I don't know how many other people had trouble with this. It should be simple. <sighs> Easy setup, huh? I mean, it's obvious that it goes on this way, but I'm just probably not putting enough into it. I don't know. I'm going to break the darn thing. I was just trying to push it too far. So there's two holes. <laughs> and uh, just got to put that, just line that up. <sighs> Whatever. I am not putting that screw in right now because I don't even have a screwdriver nearby me. Let's see if the thing's annoying or not. Uh, I might do a longer review of this in the future, but for now, I just want to make sure it's not like broken, defective, or something. It's like, is that why it's on clearance? Let's see. Not bad at all. I'd say that's, that's a nice little vacuum. I mean, it's tiny, but if that's what you need for like an RV or something like that. I'd say this is just right and cheap. That's what's important. Um, I don't know why I had such a hard time with that handle, but whatever. Put a screw in it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.